Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. Today I'm doing soap and glowy. I've always, for the longest time, wanted to try their makeup and I finally have. And I'm so, so, so impressed. So, if you like how this turns out, then keep watching. Okay, so we start with this Hocus Pocus. I really wanted this. It's supposed to be like a face highlighter. It reminds me of that MAC one, I forgot what it's called. Stroke cream, yeah, that's it. And it just gives it a natural glow. So I just rub that in. Next uh, is the foundation. I have a love-hate relationship. I've been trying this out for this week. I loved it so much when I first applied it in this video. But after wearing it for a couple of days now, it looks cakey, especially in the T-zones. So um, it's a love-hate relationship. I'm not really sure about this foundation. And in the video, it looked quite pink and I'm yellow. But in real life, now wearing it, it does it matches it doesn't look bad but I don't know it does give you that patchiness because it's liquid to powder and I've never used one of them type of foundations before I've always used liquid so maybe I have to try other liquid to powder ones but yeah weren't a fan next concealer I feel like this is very good for your money because you get two concealer colors plus a powder so I'm just putting the concealer on and unlike Makeup Revolutions. Look at that pigment, there's no streaks. So, next, I tried the powder part of this thing. It's actually an under eye powder, but I decided to just go all on my face as. Didn't buy powder. I don't know why. I don't think I saw it. Next, the contour. Well, here it looks quite red, but it's definitely contour, not blush. So I just blend that in. It's quite good pigment. It's very natural on the natural side. If you're into that. Next is highlight. I realised I didn't even need to buy this highlight because technically I already had a highlight from them. It's very nice. I'm not. I'm always going to be a powder highlight person. I think it's pointless any type of other highlights that stick, liquid. I just don't get it. It doesn't last. It's just, and it's too natural for me. I like. Bam! Highlighters. You can't get that with them type of highlighters. Next is brow product. I've, for so long I've wanted to try it because I know people can compare it to higher brands. I think one of them. It's been compared to Anastasia's one. But for me, it just didn't work. I don't know what it's about. I had to press really hard just to get any type of colour out. I'm just brushing the hairs right now. I mean, it looks good, but... I want to be able to get colour straight away and not have to really try. Next, okay, on that side I did the pencil version. On this side, I tried the brow putty. So I've got brow on one side, gel on the other side. I mean, my eyebrows look the same regardless. I used two different types of brow products. But even then, with the brow product, it I wasn't getting much out of it. And I'm glad I only bought these two, because I was going to buy the whole range. And after this, I don't... Let's just say, soap and glue. I love soap and glue, but their brows were not for me. Next is the eyeliner. I love, love the eyeliner. I don't know what was going on today, but it just wasn't working out. So ignore that. But I definitely recommend using the thin one because it's more controlled. This thick one, you <laughs> like, look how thick that is. And if you're not an expert on eyeliner, it it's gonna go terribly wrong. Let's just say that. Yes. 
So next is the mascara. I've always wanted to try the mascara. I'm not sure how I feel about this mascara. I want to say it's bad, but I'm not going to be like, this is my amazing holy grail new product. I love it. It does its job. It's a small one, so you can easily do the bottom ones. The Makeup Revolution was so massive. Disaster at the bottom. I smell it because it smells like their body but the thing is I don't like it as putting out face because tingle alert and then yeah okay guys it's the end of the video and I am so 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 happy with how this turned out I was actually surprised with a few of their products so let's get down to it so first foundation I don't know why I didn't put my concealer on before my foundation but the foundation is amazing, the coverage, it matches me perfectly. I was so impressed with the coverage, it is definitely a full coverage like it says. The fact when I was trying to put concealer on, I couldn't even see my spots because it covered it. I didn't think it would really do much, the foundation, and if anything, it's done the best. But I'm so, so happy. Next, concealer. I love that it's two in one. Because you can get two, you get, well, it's, technically it's free because you get two concealers and a powder. It says it's a setting under concealer powder, but I decided, as I don't have a natural powder, I decided to just powder my whole face and it's perfect. Next, bronzer. If I'm being honest, the bronzer doesn't do much for me, which is crazy because look how many shades there are. You've got like how many? What, like five different colours? So I just like love it because that's good for your money, five in one. But maybe it's too natural for me. It looks amazing. I don't know. Maybe I have to get used to it and try it because it's kind of hard to try and get a dark bronzer when you've got pinks and whites in there. So it kind of turns into a bronzer and a highlight at the same time. I do like it and it does look amazing. It's very natural, a lot of bronzers you can kind of see the lines. I'm not going to say I don't like it, I just need to try it a bit more but it does look good. I totally forgot about the Hocus Pocus. Another product I've really wanted to try for ages is their highlighter. Let me know if you could tell before and after if it made a glow. But let me see, try and do this as a liquid highlight and see. Let's put this on my cheeks, on my nose. And it does go a long way. Let me get my my brush and just blend it. Oh my god, it looks amazing as a highlighter, but it comes out. The only downfall, it comes out quite liquidy, so it's kind of hard to try and use as little as you can. But I love that. And next brings me to the actual highlighter. It is so good. I love powder highlighters. So I'm quite shocked that I love a stick, only because this one is quite pigmented and is the blender. Other ones, you're doing it and it's they're like no colour. I think the only difference is to why I like this better than other sticks, like the Lottie London is because when you stick, you do it and do it and nothing comes out. It's natural, you can't really see it. But this is amazing. It's in that shade Eye Shimmer. It's like a pinky colour. And I love it so much. Even though I just put Hocus Pocus over it. I loved it. Okay, next product is brows. For Soap and Glory, that is their most popular product, I feel. Now, let me have a look. So on this, I did actually use the same products. On this eye, I used their Brow Archery, the Spoolie Pencil one. And on this one, I used their Brow Putty. So I just used gel on this one and pencil on this one. The brows do look the same apart from the fact the putty makes my eyebrow look a bit lighter and the pencil makes it darker. With the pencil I found the struggle to use it. There wasn't any colour coming out. I had to proper like push on it hard just to get some out. And there's still gaps you can see in my hair. I find it very difficult to use. 
the brow put in it gives it a natural look but still I had to really go in will this sun stop changing oh my god now I look really blue <sighs> sorry about that but the sun is being a div so I like the putty above the pencil but for the price of these brow products I don't think you can compare them the putty didn't do that much for me I'm not a brow person so I can't really be like yes brows on fleek but I think I just have to give Soap and Glory a couple more tries it does look amazing and natural I told you guys to think oh no don't buy it because the brow is good I'm just gonna say that the brow is good I'm not gonna hate on it but I'm not gonna be like yes because I still need to give it I mean this is the first time I've tried it so I need to give it a chance next shall we move on to the eyeliner I love the eyeliner I did a blog post like my first ever blog post was on this eyeliner In my, my first video might be of this eyeliner view I definitely think you should buy the thin one this is the thick one I've got it is very hard to control and your wing it's very hard to get a thin perfect wing with this it kind of went crap with me <laughs> so if you were to get this definitely get the thin over the thick I don't think the thick does that good of a job at getting a perfect wing because it's kind of hard because the tip's so thick you can't you know what I mean you can't get that perfect thin that wing but they are black they don't show skin so these are great just get the thin one not the thick one mascara I've never used the mascara before of all the products I've used the eyeliner yeah the makeup products I've only ever used I've already had this I didn't have to buy it the eyeliner yeah I think it only the eyeliner and a mascara it gives it a lift it doesn't make it like curled but it gives it like a nice like lift for me it doesn't really do much of a lengthening but voluming it does I love it it's so cute it separates your eyelashes it doesn't make them clumpy and thick so if you're into that natural look then I love it oh my god I'm surprised my face is not burning because of <laughs> the lip gloss I would go on to oh I'm just looking at my neck now and you can probably tell in the video even though the shade matches I think the foundation is the wrong tone of course it's the wrong tone because all these drugstore companies are pretty much white based so they're not gonna make makeup for like darker people this is very pink and I am yellow yeah I think you can see it you can see the difference so my face is pink and my neck is yellow so even though the colour matches I would have to try and blend that maybe into my <laughs> joking I would never ever do that I feel like people who don't know how to wear a foundation does that like, you shouldn't you should have a perfect colour you shouldn't need to blend your foundation into your face that's the only fault with their foundation it's pink so if you're pink white then yeah it will look good next we're going to lips the first time ever I am wearing lip gloss and not lipstick but there's a reason for that because I didn't actually buy this for this haul I already had it because I've had this through me for like my life I've had it all through high school I've, I've had it since high school it is in the colour pink apricot look at it it's literally yellow which means it's clear you it might as well be clear because maybe if you're light or darker it might show colour but for me it's clear I also have an updated one my friend got me for my birthday can you see how updated it is I think this is the mini size anyway this one is in if you wanted to know rise and shine should I put it on? Maybe you'll see a colour difference. Gloss on top of gloss. I'm gonna hate myself for this. 
it's, it's a light tint, it's not really that, you know, it's not that pinky. You can probably see the difference. Yeah, it looks a lot more pink. Well, that is Rise and Shine, if you ever want to know. The reason I am not a fan of their, well, I've never tried their lipsticks, but why I will never love their lip glosses is because, let's just say, when they talk about pain is beauty, this is the lip gloss for that. It burns, it tingles. I'm actually surprised, it's not actually doing it now. Maybe because I've had this for so long, <laughs> it's worn off. It's not doing it now, but normally it tingles and it burns your lips, and I'm not a fan of that. Like, it's fine. Some lip glosses, it does it first and it goes away. It's not doing now, so I can't even be like, compare it. But it does give you that tingling sensation, so if you're not into that, I'm just letting you know. These aren't the lip glosses for you. I don't actually wear these, I don't wear lip glosses. But look, it makes my lips shiny. I feel like I'm glowing right now. Oh my god, I love this makeup. Another thing, if you guys were interested to know, which I'm so shocked about. Oh my god, I I cursed it, they're tingling now. Oh my god, my lips. <laughs> Why do you have to say that? Why? You weren't doing it before. So, as I was saying, their makeup smells so 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 good. I was shocked. I know their body products smell like that, but I wasn't really expecting to get the same scent from their makeup collection. And their makeup smells exactly the same as their body lotion, which I'm so happy with. Because imagine putting their makeup on and like but bathing in their stuff, you're and then putting like the perfume or spray on. Walking down the street, you're gonna be just smelling amazing. Maybe walking past people when they're like the whiff comes off. So that wraps it up. I am so impressed. I love how this has turned out. I think I need to give a few products like the brows and the bonds like, like a more tries to decide if I love it or hate it. But I'm so impressed. Look how good I look. I just can't get over the coverage of this foundation. I'll have to see what I can do about making it more yellow. Maybe I should buy like a foundation mixer, but yellow one for foundations I love, but I'm not my colour. Well, I'm my colour, but not my tank. So if you guys like this video, comment down below if you tried any of their products. I wanted to try all their brow products and I'm glad I didn't really waste my money. Because I'm not even a fan of the ones that I did buy. But yeah, let me know. Comment down your thoughts and feelings down below. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later.